Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar on creating effects inside Final Cut Pro. I'm really delighted you're joining us today, and let's get ourselves started. The goals for this seminar are to introduce you to the three effects groups inside Final Cut Pro. I want to show you how to create effects in each group and show how these different groups work together. I want to explain the very tricky concept of keyframes and show you how to use them. I'll show you how to combine effects to create effects that can't be done with a single filter or just one motion setting. There are three effects groups inside Final Cut Pro. There are text effects, motion effects, and filter effects. Text effects allow us to add titles to our video. Motion effects are video only and they control where objects are placed and where those objects move within the frame. And filter effects control how video looks and control how audio sounds. I want to start by illustrating how to use text in Final Cut Pro. Now here's a very cool keyboard shortcut. Rather than have to create text by going to the generator menu, Control X is a fast keyboard shortcut to creating full screen text. The benefit to creating text inside Final Cut is that it's extremely high quality. And Final Cut supports all Macintosh TrueType fonts. Now, the true type font is one of many different font categories. For those of you that lived through the font wars of the 1990s, you know we've got open type and live type and postscript type 1 and postscript type 3. If you're ever faced with the decision on what fonts to buy for your Mac, always get true type because true type fonts can be used across all the Final Cut Studio applications. But there are some limitations to fonts inside Final Cut Pro. First, we have very, very limited animation. And second, you can't change the style within a clip. We can't have different colors of fonts inside the same clip. We can't have different sizes or different fonts. We have to use multiple clips to be able to achieve it. My basic point of view is if the font stays still, I'll create it inside Final Cut. And if I need to move it, then I'm going to create it inside Live Type or Motion. 